Hello everyone! Last time I gave you this puzzle. We had Ant and Deck playing a game. They're taking it in turns to toss a coin and the first that gets ahead wins. Now, what's the probability that Ant will win if he goes first? I'm going to show you two solutions to this. The first one involves the infinite series. The second one, I think, is a little bit neater. So let's draw a tree diagram of what's happening. On the first trial, it's Ant's turn. Either he gets heads and he wins, or he gets tails and he loses. Then it's Deck's turn. So the second trial, it's Deck's turn. Either he gets heads and he wins, or he gets tails and he loses. The third trial is Ant's turn, then it's Deck's turn, then it's Ant's turn, and that goes on forever. The probability that Ant will win will be the probability that he wins on the first trial, or he wins on the third trial, or he wins on the fifth trial, and so on. Let's call the probability that Ant wins P. Then the probability Ant wins on the first trial is going to be a half. The probability he wins on the third trial, well that means Ant and Deck, they both toss the tail and then Ant wins. So that's going to be a half times a half times a half. That's one half cubed. Then the probability that Ant wins on the fifth trial means that Ant and Deck have tossed four tails and then Ant wins. So that's going to be one half to the power five. And that goes on forever as well. Now this is called a geometric sum. Each term is multiplied by a common factor of one half squared to get the next term. Now if you want to find the solution to that infinite sum, here's the trick. What you do is you multiply the whole thing by the common factor one half squared. So on the right hand side, everything just gets shifted up one. Then if you subtract, on the left hand side you get three quarters p. On the right hand side you'll get a half and everything else cancels out. Now you can just solve this to find P, and P is two thirds. The probability that Ant will win if he plays first is two thirds. In, in other words, he's more likely to win. Now that's the infinite series solution. Now I want to show you the neater solution. So we had this infinite tree, and the probability that Ant wins was the probability that he wins on the first trial, plus the probability he wins on the third trial, plus the probability he wins on the fifth trial, and this went on forever. But here's the clever bit. By the time they get to the third trial, they're back to square one. Ant has lost, then Deck has lost, and then the game starts again. So, the probability that Ant will win is the probability he wins on the first trial, which is a half, plus the probability that Ant has lost, then Deck has lost, which is a half squared, then the probability he wins from this point on, which is P again. So the probability that Ant will win, well, you just solve this and you'll find that P equals two thirds, just like before, although this time it's much neater. So what if you have an unfair coin with the probability of winning being W, which might be a half, it might not be, then the probability that player one wins is the probability he wins on the first trial, which is W, plus the probability that they lose twice, which is 1 minus w squared times p again. And you can solve this quite easily to find out the probability that player 1 wins. Or what if you have more than two players? What if you have n players? Then the probability that player 1 wins is the probability he wins on the first trial again, which is w, plus the probability that n players lose, which is 1 minus w to the power n times p again, and that's the probability of winning. Win here, win there, win-win everywhere.